Hey, how's it going? So if you're here, you're probably interested in Unreal Engine as a filmmaking tool. We're still seeing articles, even in 2023, saying things like, is Unreal Engine the future of filmmaking? This is still a pretty new thing for a lot of people. The thought that a games making engine could be could be competing with, with things like Cinema 4D and other kind of 3D CGI kind of softwares. What we can see from this is that real time graphics rendering is really really on par if not as good as pre-rendered stuff and as a result unreal engine if you got the gpu for it and you got a good computer can really be coming up against pre-rendered softwares flexibility of this is amazing because if you make something it can pretty much look exactly as it looks in the viewport and you can be fairly sure that when you hit render the render times aren't going to be even that long there's also even more flexibility with filmmaking and rendering in unreal engine once you step out of the bounds of having to make stuff run uh, in real time and actually using sequencer and movie render queue, you can really jump into some amazing features that people like William Folcher always go through and are documenting at amazing length of things like deferred rendering and render passes. You can actually utilize all the things that uh, things like Cinema 4D and that have uh, in Unreal Engine. So Unreal Engine is not just a real-time tool. We can actually do offline rendering as well. So that's what this series is about. It's all about offline rendering tips and how you can use not only Unreal Engine and Unreal Engine's plugin Composure, but also the Offworld Live toolkit and some amazing extra features that our plugin gives to make some incredible scenes. This series is hinged towards compositing real world with CG. There's going to be some amazing tips here for using this offline workflow to really make amazing content. And so if you're using Composure and using Unreal Engine's Composure to import talent into Unreal Engine, then you may well want to use an offline workflow because this frees you up to do awesome things like sequencing camera movements to the movement of your talent, like following someone's head turn as they turn around or camera following someone as they walk down the street. Our video plane placement actor will let you do that because you can sequence where the talent is in 3D space. And then also the fact that we can do this offline means that we can do awesome stuff like, like like focus pools. So having your talent slightly out of focus or having your background or your foreground more or less in focus than your talent really seals the deal with making amazing looking footage and amazing shots. And you, you'll notice that quite a lot of cinematic shots, depending on your style, can well be out of focus. So by the end of this, you're going to be able to make one amazing shot with your own custom media in any Unreal Engine environment you want and use Unreal Engine, Composure and the Offworld Live compositing tools to bring this stuff really to the the next level and make amazing pre-rendered clips. I think this workflow is really awesome once you get all the composure stuff set up. Hopefully with these tips you can become a bit of a pro and churn out awesome looking pre-rendered sequences using the amazing Unreal Engine. So with this series, we've got a cinematic shots video start to finish. So within this 10 minute video, you'll be able to literally go from start to finish using Composure to set up talent in a 3D scene. Then I'll show you how you can key in After Effects because it's got some really great pre-keying. So you can have pre-keyed media in Unreal Engine, show you exactly how to get that into Unreal Engine. I'll then show you how to tweak post-process materials to customize them a little better. So you can jump into post-process materials and adjust them so that they can be used for this offline composure workflow. I'll also show you a use of a post-process material to make a camera shake. Again, camera shake being a really key element in making your shots look realistic. And then we'll jump into a couple really, really exciting techniques, which are focus pulls. Uh, with this technique, you can actually get a sense of distance and focus in your talent. And because of our video plane placement, this is the only way to get talent out of focus in an Unreal Engine C. Uh, without going too deep into some kind of Gaussian blur on your materials and keyframing that. This is a, an, an awesome way to do this. This is actually just using the camera and its focus pool and its idea of where the focus is in 3D space. This is, a, this is an awesome way to do this. And then finally, I'll show you this awesome light leak trick as well, which again, just seals the deal. If you get light leaking over your talent, this can really pull together some cinematic shots. So by the end of this, I hope you can see that you will have a start to finish knowledge of how to put together a cinematic with a real person in a 3D scene and hopefully this will give you some more inspiration and ideas for taking these skills and bringing them further into your own workflows and techniques. So yeah, check out this next series of tutorials in the playlist link below to learn every stage of doing offline composure workflows with Unreal Engine and the Offworld Live compositing toolkit. I hope you get on with these tutorials and it unlocks some creativity for you.